welcome to Pocket Knives and Harmonicas. I'm Brenny. Glad you could make it. I think you could hear little Max, my uh, chihuahua, howling in the in his little bed there. Uh, something about the C harmonica. Not all keys do it, but the C harmonica always makes him howl. Such a cute little guy. Yeah, uh, really glad you could make it. Hey, um, I, I just finished my 57th lap around the sun, and... Uh, I had been keening for a fixed blade and I narrowed my focus to the SE5. And just before I placed the order, I watched a Dutch Bushcraft uh, knives or whatever it's called, Dutch Bush, Bushcraft. And it just made me second guess my decision. So I, I'm holding off for now until I can be a little more confident. Um, but I wanted to buy myself a, a, a knife or something for for that uh, day. And so I uh, purchased myself a little uh, Victorinox. Um, here, let's get this out of here. Um, everybody knows this knife, uh, the Compact. I, I had recently purchased one of these for my, my granddaughter and damn, I was just so impressed by it um, that it, you know, it got me thinking that it would be a, a good option for me to have such a thin knife and it's got the, the full-size scissors, uh, wherever they are. There they are. Full-size scissors and, you know, the combo tool that does your opening needs. And then it's got the mini screwdriver, which is great. I wear cheap glasses and sunglasses, so that helps a lot. And the little pin for slivers. Bingo, yeah, um, pen, that'll come in handy sometimes. So, yeah, I, I ordered that and, you know, was looking forward to it wasn't disappointed but um i was on the blades canada website and they got a bunch of case knives in and you know i had one of the first knives i purchased when i got back into pocket knives was a case seahorse whittler and it just uh it, it was a letdown for me every blade was loose the knife just seemed a little flimsy great bone Great bone handles, uh, really pretty, but that's not really what I'm looking for, you know? So I've been shy about buying more case knives. I can't see them before I buy them. You have to order them online and just, you know, cross your fingers. So um, they got a bunch of new ones in, including some mini copper locks, which I've just been kind of lusting after. And so, you know, I broke down and I decided to try again and uh, pick myself up uh, a mini copper lock. Um, what do we got here? Um, sorry, I'm, I'm out in my cabin right now. Uh, it, it's all new to me here, so. Um, dark red bone peach seed jig mini copper lock, 61749L, and it's in carbon steel. Um, the website said it was stainless steel on the on the title, but I knew these red bone knives were usually CV. I thought, um, so I I looked closer at the knife, the picture of the actual knife, and it did say CV on it. So I ordered it. It came, and it's actually carbon steel, which you know I think is even more appealing to me right now. So um, yeah, kind of surprised about that. And, you know, holding my breath, um, just hoping, you know, come on, do it. This came in the mail. And I'm really pleased, I have to say, really pleased. Um, mini copper lock, dark red bone. It's not as dark as I thought it might be. It, it's definitely more on the pinker side, which is no problem for me. I'm in a house full of women. Pink is a color in my life for sure. It's got that, I don't know what you call that, a bow tie shield? No, probably not. I'm not really that keen about shields. This one sits a little proud on this side, but you know, it feels tight in there. A couple of the pins are a little proud. No gapping, you know, it's the lock back, so it's not gonna be absolutely, but it is gap free, it really, truly is and the bone fits good the blade whoops blade centering is leaves a lot to be desired it's up against the the pile side um doesn't appear to be 
scratching the blade but uh, you know if that's what I have to accept I'm I'm okay with that 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 doesn't bother me too much what I hate is blade wobble and this one is tight no blade rock it's tight it just feels awesome so you know it, it it's not centered I don't really care about that so much um, as long as it's not completely scratching um, which it's not at this point um, but you know I have to say I was really disappointed with how sharp this came the very tip is kind of sharp not sharp but kind of sharp but here at the meat of the blade it's not even sharp I, I don't even know if they hit it with the, the the grinding wheel or whatever it's it's not sharp at all so you know that's a little disappointing you know it's a knife it's for cutting that's the number one parameter like it's got to cut so come on send it sharp for christ's sake for my sake send it sharp so yeah um a little disappointed with that I'm gonna sharpen it up no problem i can sharpen but you know you like to pull your knife out of out of the box and and just feel it razor sharp you know like my spider co came like my bokers come like this compact cam i've never received a victoria knox knife that isn't razor sharp everything works perfect no f visible flaws like i mean they are what they are but they come as they're meant to be made and delivered like there's never flaws everything snaps into place the blades are sharp so you know this is a a $75 knife and this is a hundred and hundred dollar knife 105 maybe so overall um, of course I'm pleased with this compact it's exactly what I was after and I am happily surprised that this case knife came to me so nice and uh, yeah I'm gonna sharpen it up today and and start carrying it um, I've gone through this little box of knives. This is these are the knives I carry. So what you'll notice is, you know, I've got my Spider Co, which is my main work knife. My buddy Pete over at Nice Slice sent this uh, SE Chirp to me, which I'm just loving. It's just a it's a great little work knife. I'm I'm using the hell out of it. It's just awesome. So a couple work knives. I got this uh, high end bug out mini bug out carbon fiber. Um, uh, what is it? S S ninety V or something? That really nice knife, but really stands out from all my other knives. It's not very humble. It's pretty flashy. But hey, um, you know I've got a couple bucks in here that I love. Um, the Saunter and the fifty five. Um, speaking of which, let's just take a quick look here. There's the Buck fifty five. There's the the case mini copper lock they they come up really close to each other look at the comparison how thin they are very similar knives no wonder i like this one so much um i don't have a lot of clip blade knives that i use i i uh, prefer spear point but these ones i love these are great i love that shape i also have the the uh, browning steam bank which is a clip point that's a really nice knife too just you know great value uh, you know, I've got a GC. I've got another Victorinox farmer in my rotation. I've got my Ohio River Jack uh, um, Jig Titanium Spear Point. Love that knife. Um, I've got this Boker, Boker Stockman with the punch uh, right here. And then I've got my. Uh, my Boker cattle knife, which I didn't put in the box. It's uh, still in my pants. So up at the house, I'm wearing my work pants right now. So yeah, that's it. You know, um, I thought I'd just kind of take a initial look at my new knife. And uh, of course, the, the Swiss Army knife. I don't know. I think of these as traditional knives. Like they're just, they've been around my whole life. And uh they're they're just a traditional knife to me uh, but i'm probably in you know people would probably disagree with me on that but really happy with the case really happy with the victor knox thanks so much for stopping by hope you're all well take care